what's your relationship to the NATO 5 case at this point? I'm a supporter. I work a lot on the jail solidarity group. Um, I go to visit them. I write to them. I go to their court dates. I also keep an updated calendar of court dates and visitation schedule for anyone, not just in NATO 5, but anyone with NATO-related charges. And right now there's five people in jail from Occupy Chicago or from Occupy Chicago-related events. Yeah, they, they're they actually all from out of town, but they were staying with Occupy Chicago members. And tell me about what just happened with Mark, and tell me his full name and, and what's going on. His name's Mark Neweem. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Uh, N-E-I-W-E-E-M. We went to, he's better known as Migs. Um, we went to visit him on Wednesday, um, and we were turned away. They told us he was in solitary confinement. Um, so we actually then were able to see another one of the NATO 5, Sebastian Senekevich. Um, he is in the same division, so when we saw him, he told us, he, he said he's not in solitary, he's at Cook County Hospital, and we were like, what? Um, so he told us that they had cuffed him and brought him into a corner where there weren't cameras. A guard had then beaten him pretty badly. Um, so afterwards, we we talked to the lawyers and some other people who had had contact with Mark, and we learned some more details. Um, he actually was not still in the hospital, but they, when they brought him back, they put him in solitary. They didn't want him seeing visitors because his injuries are very obvious. Um, so we're very concerned about that. Can you describe what we know of the injuries? Um, they said his ribs are sore, but not broken. I know he had stitches. I'm not sure where. Um, he had a court date on Thursday, the next day, so we had some people there. They said he had a bandage on his head and he was one thing. Um, so I don't know the full extent. I know the lawyers are trying to get copies of the hospital records, um, but it seems like it was a pretty bad beating. And he was cuffed, so he couldn't, you know, there's no way that he initiated it physically. And and now he's been put into solitary, and so tell, tell me a little about what that's going to involve. They're saying he's going to be in solitary until September 18th, which is almost a month. I don't know the exact day that happened, um, but it's about a month. He can't see any visitors except for immediate family, and I assume they can't keep him from seeing his lawyers. Um, it's unclear if he can still receive letters. I think he can receive letters and phone calls, but we're not sure. The biggest thing is that we can't see him and we can't see how he's doing. So we're really trying to work with the lawyers to find a way to have access to him and keep in touch with his progress. Tell me what people can do if they're concerned about this case. The biggest thing is write, write to all five of them. They need the outside support. They need you know, something to cheer them up a little bit. We don't write to them about their specific case, but just anything going on. Nothing really changes inside prison, so anything going on on the outside, send them pictures. They're able to put pictures up in their cells, and they always ask for more. I also work with the Occupy Chicago Library to send them books and other reading materials. Can people contribute books to that, too? Absolutely. Um, we have a website, oshylibrary.wordpress.com. Cool. Any last thoughts on this? Anything else you want to say? Free the NATO class. <laughs>